Do you know what? I think I once got a comment on one of my TikToks saying that I look like Madison Beer. I really do hope that commenter went to Specsavers shortly after. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. Today I am going to be following Madison Beer's makeup routine which you guys have probably seen everywhere all over social media at the moment. So I thought I would give it a try and try and save whatever this is. Why do I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost? Somebody tell me. I need to just stop looking up that. Anyway, without further ado, let's get into it. ...of my makeup routine. This amazing trend of soap brows which Whoever came up with that is genius. Just brush through your eyebrows. I really don't like soap brows on my eyebrows. I think they're too long. They're too long for soap brows. It just doesn't work. I don't know why, but it just doesn't. And I've also got some really weird like gap in my eyebrows here where the hair just doesn't grow. So I really hope that she fills them in. Hair's already looked done, do you know what I mean? I don't know if I did this right. I really like the way that it looks. Right, let's do it. Got my spoolie brush. Something about soap brows just really stresses me out. So, oh gosh, do you see what I mean? My eyebrows are just too long for this. Brilliant. Anyway, let's hope this improves. I don't really use foundation technically, it's a skin tint is what it's called. Gosh. It's supposed to just even out your skin tone. Um, I actually really like the way it looks. Okay, so I'm with her on this one. This I agree with. So as most of you guys will know if you watch my Get Ready With Me TikTok Lives, this is my favorite makeup product ever. It is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I live and die by this. Unfortunately, in winter, when I look like Casper the Friendly Ghost, this just doesn't match. So instead, I am gonna use a foundation today. I have got this hydrating foundation by Maybelline New York. So we're gonna use this today instead. And I've also noticed that she uses a sponge. I have never, ever, 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 ever used a sponge for my makeup. I think it absorbs too much of the makeup. So I'm so sorry, Madison, but I'm not buying a sponge even for you. I'm so sorry. Okay, what have we got next? Okay, so next up is the Lord and Savior of concealers, which is the NARS Creamy Concealer. I've been using these forever, and I feel like I just started getting into makeup a bit more in the last like two years. Me too. I just never thought I was good at it, to be honest with you, and I used to have eyelash extensions, and I used to just not really care to wear makeup because that felt makeup-y to me enough. So I didn't really wear any makeup. I actually, 99 to be completely honest, 99% of my days I don't wear any makeup at all. Could never be me. The concealer I will be using today is Laura Mercier yet again, and it's in the color 2N. When I'm in the mood and I have time to do like a full, full face, I will. That was custard, and then I used. She has put a lot on, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. For concealer, I actually use my fingers. I just find, again, it gets into my skin and my pores a lot better than any brush or sponge does. So, yeah. Right, what have we got next, Madison? My laptop's so dirty, I'm so sorry. Okay, so now that I have the concealer on, which I'm gonna just have to accept this guy for what he is, I go in with the Charlotte Tilbury, I think they're called glow sticks, contour wands. I use it very sparingly because it a little goes a long way. Oh no. Brilliant, I don't have a liquid bronzer. Oh my gosh. Lucky we didn't use this on the face. Is this gonna work? Can I? Yeah, it's just a darker shade and it's a cream. Is that gonna work? I'm so out of my depth right now, it's ridiculous. This is why I've never done a proper makeup video on my YouTube channel before because it's not my forte at all. <laughs> oh no. Right. Oh my gosh. Why do I kind of like it? Is that just me? Does it does it show on the camera how actually decent that is? I really hope so. Okay, 
My faith has been restored back into Madison Beer. Let's see where we go next. So I start with all cream-based products first. Again, this might be criminal and really wrong to do it this way, but this is the way that works for me. So this is the way that I do it. My favorite product in makeup, period, is blush. This is my favorite blush ever. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Cream Blush. I put a lot of this stuff on and People always ask me if there was one makeup product you could only use for the rest of your life, it would 100% be this. I don't care if I had pimples and no concealer, I would oh use gosh, no. blush no matter what. And I know it looks like a lot, just please bear with me. I have cream blush. I've actually never used this before, so shout out to Flamingos for getting me this for my birthday because I really wanted one and I don't know why, but I've just never got around to using it since I got it. And my birthday was like three months ago. It is a Glossier brush in the shade Storm. <gasps> That's so dark. I don't know how this is gonna go. Why does mine look like this color and hers looks like that? Oh honey, this is a lot of blusher. So now I'm gonna go in with powder. powder. Weird order of operations is about to go down, just warning everybody. This is the Charlotte Tilbury powder and I'm gonna just try to make that guy as chilled out as possible even though it might not be possible and I also only really powder under my eyes and in like my t-zone okay so she didn't actually explain what kind of powder that is so I'm guessing it's like a translucent setting powder kind of thing so again I have got my Laura Mercier. I don't know what this is called, I really don't. I'm not gonna pretend I do, because I don't. Secret brightening powder for under eyes. So we're gonna use this. Right, next step. So now I'm moving on to my bronzer, and I'm using the one and only Fenty Beauty, my queen, Rihanna's bronzer. And you can see how filthy this is. I would use it all the time. And I'm just gonna go in lightly. This is in the shade Private Island. Shout out to Ree for making the best makeup ever. Okay, light bronzer, here we come. Okay, so the bronzer I use is the, I, it's just a NYX one at the moment, I'm not gonna lie. I used to use MAC, but since the shops have closed, I've just been going to like boots near me. And yeah, I just got this NYX one in a color deep tan. So we're gonna go in with this lightly now. You guys can't really tell on this camera, but I'm looking very bronzed at the moment. Very bronzed. And I don't really ever nose contour because again, neither fearful of the unknown. I have no idea what I'm doing ever when it comes to that. But again, this is something my makeup artist has given me confidence over the past few years to be able to do. I do it very, very lightly um, because it still does scare me. I use a brush like this and I just will get in there and I'll just do a tiny, tiny bit on either side. What brush do we use? I'm so uneducated when it comes to makeup brushes. What's this one? A soft definer. That sounds right. That sounds right. I don't deserve nice makeup stuff because I just have no idea how to use it. So luckily I don't think that's done anything so I'm not too worried about it. Let's carry on. Keeping it in the family, we're gonna go in with the Fenty Beauty blush, which is in Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. This is the best blush ever. And you can never have too much blush in my world. So I just throw it on and I just make it as obnoxiously blushy as possible without looking too crazy. Well, if it works for her, it works for me. Do you know what I mean? Again, in terms of blush, I used to use MAC as well, but like I said, since lockdown, I've just been going to Boots. So I've just got this one because I like the color of it. It is L'Oreal Paris Le Blush in Rosewood 145. It's just my eyebrows that are annoying me at the moment. Everything else is kind of okay. It's just the eyebrows. So the next step is my beloved Morphe yeah, Madison Beer Palette. So I'm using this shade in my palette, and I'm gonna use a little bit of this one as well, and I'm just mixing the two, and I'm going just into the crease of my eyes right here, and I'm using, I go, I keep going back in with this lighter shade just to throw it in the corner of my eye in the middle. I kind of use that anyway. I always use my bronzer as eyeshadow, the same kind of vibe, just in my crease, so that's good to know. And this is pretty much the same shade as the eyeshadow she was using anyway, so lovely to hear, lovely to hear. Bit of familiarity. And 
And then she also said that she uses a lighter colour and goes in the middle and in the inner corner. So I'm going to be using this peaches and cream colour from this fiery palette. I'm actually intrigued to see what else she does with her eyes because I feel like Madison Beer's eyes always just look stunning. So I'm really interested in how she gets away with that. I mean, the whole way through this video, it looks like she's got eyeliner in her waterline. So I'm interested if she mentions that at all, but we shall see. This is the best eyeshadow color in the world. So I use this brush for my inner corner. Do you see what I mean? And that is it. And this is what I do. So I look, I always try to look down or like no. center. I've never tried this before. I've been too scared. <laughs> Why did she just do that absolutely perfectly and really quickly? This is where it could all go drastically wrong. So I have this brush that looks really similar. Again, this is a Zoeva brush. I really hope I'm saying that right. It is for winged eyeliner, so let's give it a go. We're going to go in with a mix between this colour and this colour. So that's caramel sauce and chocolate souffle for anyone that does have this palette if i pull this off i'll be so impressed because i've always wanted to be able to do this but i don't think it'll suit my eyes but we'll see oh did i do it does that look good i can't i can't tell if that looks good or if that looks absolutely shocking why does it just not look like hers at all moving on and then i have a bit bigger of brush to do my liner and i also have not always worn eyeliner but once I get to a routine, I can't break it. I'm a creature of habit and I use the exact same shadow color. What I do is I'll look and I will imagine if I had a really long eyelash coming out from here, like where would it sit and what would it look like? And so I see like a line in my head and I just follow that. I'm so nervous because I hate eyeliner. They're so uneven, what the freak. Never mind, never mind, never mind. It doesn't matter. Oh. Hopefully the mascara just brings this all together. The next step is my highlighter, my cream highlighter. Oh gosh, I completely forgot about highlighter. Great highlighter wand, and I just do like two little dots right there. And I love highlighter. I feel like it just makes me feel like I'm a forest nymph and a fairy and like anyone else don't know what forest nymph is so the cream highlighter that I use is this NARS one. I absolutely love it. It is in shade orgasm. It's just a really really pretty colour. Again I do this with my fingers and I actually do this every day so I'm really glad that she incorporated this into her routine too. I like her nails. I really like her nails. With my mascara it's called the lash slick by glossier and it makes my eyelashes look like eyelash extensions it just fills them out so much okay so the issue i have with mascara is my eyelashes are so straight like you literally can't even see them at the moment can you because they're so 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 straight like i'm not even joking i curl them every single day and they're still so straight i've actually just bought castor oil so i'm hoping that helps improve my eyelashes a little bit but yeah we're gonna try and give this a go and see what my eyelashes actually decide to do today because they're very unpredictable Okay, so yeah, as I said, my eyelashes just don't like playing. They really, really don't. For those of you that are interested though, not that you would want your eyelashes to look like this, but I use the Laura Mercier Caviar Volume Mascara. And then I also have recently started also using the L'Oreal Paris, what's this one called? Telescopic False Lashes. This was meant to be amazing and like transform your eyelashes, but Mine just don't play. No matter what mascara I use, they just don't play. So we just got to roll with what we got. So this is how they look for now. I will try and sort them out a bit later, I promise. Hers just so look anyways, immaculate. Now I have my highlighter. And I use this color yes. right here, which I made I sure that this. I would have something that I could use in my inner corner in this palette. And so I throw this into the Her inner corner. eyelashes um, look insane. I don't do it too much, just a little bit. Okay, fun. I also do this, but instead of using a powder, I use, guess what brand it is? Laura Mercier. So yeah, I use this Laura Mercier, what's it called? Metallic Taupe Caviar Stick Eye Color. We've got to nearly be at the end, surely. So much more I can put on my face. <laughs> 
This is my favorite lip liner because it matches my lip tone and I can get away with overlining my lips a lot and it doesn't really show. And already you can see this is where my lip is and I go below it. Okay, so the lip liner I've been using recently is this Dior one. I don't know if you guys can see that. And it's in the shade Thrilling Plum. I don't really overline my lip, I just kind of line them. And I've only recently started lining my lips as well. Like I never, ever, ever used to do it. Um, and then what I use after is my MAC lipstick, which is in Velvet Teddy. I swear every single person that has a MAC lipstick has owned Velvet Teddy at some point in their life. It is just the nicest shade. And I think it matches really, really well with the lip liner color too. Okay, so this is the finished look. I'm actually not mad about it. Like. It's a bit much, like, in comparison to what I would do. Like, I wouldn't do this on a day-to-day -day basis. I feel like it's a bit too cakey for me because she uses so much, like, cream contour, cream blush, etc., and the powders. I don't think you necessarily need both, but that's just... In comparison to what I usually use on my skin, it just feels quite heavy. And obviously, the eyes are just not something I'm really used to. But other than that, I kind of like it. I'm not mad about it. I'm really not. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this week's video. If you did, make sure to leave a big thumbs up. Thank you so much to those of you that did make it this far through my videos as well. We are getting that watch time up week by week and it is really, really appreciated because I do put a lot of time and effort into these videos. Leave a comment down below of a video you would like to see me do next week or of your favorite makeup product. Other than that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Keep smiling and I will see you guys soon. Bye.